Teachers in Reynoldsburg are joining forces with parents and students to fight for a fair new deal. Educators have been working without a contract and now they're taking their concerns to the streets. Fox 28 reporter Rob Wells is live at Reynoldsburg High School with the very latest on this. Rob? Yolanda, teachers tell me that the last formal strike here in Reynoldsburg was back in 1978. In the meantime, these are the signs that those teachers held up pushing for a better, brand new contract. They hope their message will prevent another strike that could stop the new school year for some 7,200 students. Reynoldsburg teachers! Ready to fight! Early in the morning! Teachers, parents, and students in Reynoldsburg marched side by side into this week's Board of Education meeting. The 350 teachers have been working without a contract for a couple of weeks after negotiators failed to strike a deal. Well, on August 8th, we authorized our bargaining team to issue a 10 day uh, intend to strike notice. Teachers are asking for better learning conditions, smaller class size, and better pay. Seventh grader Kimmy Shook was one of those who laced up to show support. Well, I've been hearing that they can be going on strike and they're going to leave, and I don't want them to leave because all my teachers are very good and I love them all. Uh, he is in high school, he's in the marching band, and if they go on strike, there's no marching season. Educators held up signs to show their concerns for students and staff inside the meeting. Meanwhile, board members say they're frustrated for being blamed for stalled negotiations. And to get emails that suggest that I'm trying to ruin our community, I find insulting. While we may disagree on certain things, we all understand that we are in this together, the community and the administration, the board, the teachers, the students, everyone. And you can see that meeting united in colors, red showing support for all the educators, white showing support for all the students. Meanwhile, contract talks continue this week. We're live in Reynoldsburg, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.